Hi guys, welcome to Learning, Growing and Becoming. My name is Nanti Tugo, but you guys can call me Nanti and I'm very happy to be doing this live thing with you. <laughs> On today's episode, I will be sharing with you guys my experience with Oheva Life Nutrition. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Bengungu babes, Oheva Life. I was a health coach. I almost became a fitness bunny. <laughs> yeah, if you want to hear more about it, please uh, buckle up, relax, get yourself a drink, get cozy and comfy wherever you are. And yeah, I am sipping on some apple juice because <laughs> I'm sipping on some apple juice because I am not feeling well. I caught flu and I have a runny nose. That's why I'm not your apple juice up so. I've always been the bigger friend, like physique wise. I've always been more chubbier, like not even amongst my friend group in the classroom. I've always been perfect girls that were a little bit bigger, fuller. I don't think I was ever fat, but I was just more fuller. I had more meat. I. I guess it was just thicker <laughs> you know that period that you go through where you think you are so big and then you get older and you look at your pictures back then and you're like no man you weren't even that big you weren't big at all actually high school i was okay with it um until I think around grade 10. <laughs> I remember at some point in high school, I used to wear two bras, guys. Because I just felt like my boobs are not up here enough. I know too much torture. I've, I think I've worn and experienced every kind of spanx that is around, guys. <laughs> we call it umza umkara. Like, I've worn most types. I think if you want to go shopping for such, I'll be your girl. I'll tell you which one fits best. I finished high school. I went into my first year. First year was a bit challenging for me because it was a huge transition from coming from a small town to uh, now being in the city all alone. And I just started putting on some weight. What truly really happened was I was this size and then next thing, boom it's august and i'm huge i do not remember feeling like oh so I'm cool so I'm cool so I'm cool no i just as i woke up just one time and i was like oh my gosh nothing fits i was just a massive i was huge 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 a friend of mine recommended something for me that i used and I lost a few kilos, I did, and I started feeling good about myself. My sister came across someone who was a Herbalife distributor. Um, she sold the whole idea to her, how uh, you could lose weight while making money at it. And my sister was like, what? Let us do this, baby. And she signed me up. So the, the signing up package she bought for me and um, she was like i just need you to like push you know and she sent me a demonial of some girl that i used to attend class with what we had a similar module i used to see her in class and she was doing well we have her life oh babes oh babes was just flourishing you know she was making money and she was literally just body goals and i looked at it and i was like damn wow that could be me as well so that's attainable I could be slim and rich. <laughs> well, not rich, but like I could be slim and not broke. I want in. Sign me up. What do we sign up? That lady that my sister hooked me up with um, invited me over for dinner. She explained everything to me, how Herbalife Life Nutrition works. And she was just talking about the shakes, the teas, whatever. And how if you are a distributor, you're gonna have to keep on recruiting people i was like oh okay cool and then um uh what happens once you've reached your body goal and she's like um you keep on taking the shakes and that it does not end i was like mm, oh okay 
okay but i was like i was very excited i didn't think it would be a thing you know i was just like no i can do this i can do this so i started supplementing my meals with some shakes i had my tea i had most of the products in the beginning i didn't think that it was something i could do i didn't think that it was something i could seriously make money from but you know i just had that thing i was like okay well i'm broke anyway so and my sister is over here sponsoring me i have no reason not to try it out um i'm gonna work hard at it so it was that it became that and i'm that girl attending workshops when i'm telling all my friends about it i remember the first workshop i attended in heaven life i took my two friends with shame <laughs> i darlings the one thing about my friends they'll always support you and like we just support each other it's a thing i went over there with them and i came out convinced with no man this thing is possible I would wake up each and every morning pr promoting Herbal Life Nutrition products. I would be making shakes every now and then. I was just that good. They were babes with Herbal Life. Truly. And I loved it. I embraced it. I enjoyed it. And I will not lie. I was getting some customers. You know. And now let's get to why I stopped. I firstly stopped being a consumer of the have a life products because it was starting to take a toll on me and remember i am selling the product to the people and they have to see the results in me i think i took it a little too hard on myself you know i will not lie i did see the results in the beginning but as time went on i started like having intense cravings you know because now I was seeing with, in, with some people for the best results you'd have to supplement two meals with ama shakes and have proper dinner only and for me it was a bit hard i'm not gonna lie it was just like becoming extremely hard for me to keep up with that and then i got to a point where i was just like no let me just have um the 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 shakes for breakfast and then i will have um a proper lunch and proper dinner but now like my, my weight was just stagnant i wasn't moving on the scale and uh, i was like okay fine let's go back now we supplement the whole day and you could snack on on real food like you could snack on with like fruits or proper yogurts or what i tried that and now i'm drinking the tea two liters of the tea what what i'm taking pills at the same time yeah guys and this was during lockdown during lockdown i started with the have a life thing in 2019 towards the end and then 2020 during lockdown i was going hard at it i'm trying to exercise on the side because we used to get taught it's 80 percent what you eat and 20 percent exercise i'm no longer moving on the scale hey it got so frustrating it got extremely frustrating and i remember my mom sitting and she saw my frustration and she was like i and i looked at her i was like hey how and you shook me like milling sevens it's gonna work nana i didn't listen to her no you look good now you can stop it's enough but i was like no i'm gonna keep on going i'm gonna push i want my summer body i'm gonna be body goals at home so i went back to campus now i'm back at school i'm back at ways and it's becoming harder to keep up with these shakes and everything you know hey <laughs> until this one time because i took psychology as a major i was going through uh, a section about eating disorders and everything i was reading there Okay, well, most of the things I was reading there were just personal attacks. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not fully or deeply in here or experiencing most of these symptoms, but I am quarter to getting there. Because if it had happened that I had had like real foods or a real meal, 
for like maybe a day or two i would feel extremely bad i would want to take something to detox and you know get it out of my system um ugh. i was getting obsessed with seeing the results and i was going harder i was going harder and it was hurting me because i wasn't seeing results and i wasn't enjoying what i was doing anymore i was putting pressure on myself i felt bad i was like how am i selling this to my people promising them some results that i can't even attain myself you know so i started like having feelings of good seat no man i just felt like a fraud i felt like i was making people spend a lot of money on on something that i could not see working for me anymore i'm not saying it never worked before anymore you know because let's be honest also her life is expensive especially for a student using whatever money i would get small profits i would get from selling to other people to buy products for myself i wouldn't have been able to maintain the whole thing i had to have a true chat with myself i was like no honey this is not it you've achieved your body goals you you are worse off than you are now you know give it a break give it a break and let's see what's gonna happen and that's when i stopped now i'm gonna share my experience as a herbal life distributor it was hard recruiting people i'm not gonna lie um getting people to sign up getting people to buy the products was super hard because the products are a bit costly especially uh in a student environment i know people say students have money or what but students um you, you really need to have you really have to be convincing which is what made it hard for me which is what made it hard for me which my body wasn't talking what i was trying <laughs> what i was trying to sell to the people you know it's, the combos were not communicating but i will give it to myself i did really well i'm not gonna lie i did super well i would get customers i would text people i would i did everything they taught you to do to kind of recruit people and it was working i was so amazed at myself i was super proud of myself i was like what so i can get people to buy what i'm selling you know it was a fulfilling feeling like it just felt amazing it felt great and attending those workshops really helped um in 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 like um improving my ability to get people to buy whatever i was selling this is not um a video to bad mouth e have a life nutrition because we all have this different extremely different experiences with the brand and what i will say to you guys is it have a life works when you work i repeat it have a life nutrition works when you work it is not easy money and it's not a quick get slim method no there's absolutely not. If you're trying to lose weight using your habit life, then you're going to have to work hard at it. You're going to have to exercise. You're going to have to um, make sure that you um, take the shakes. You are um, diligent. You do not cheat uh, on your meals or whatever. You are going to have to make serious heavy lifestyle changes in order to see the difference or to see the impact that it's making on your body and if you are going into heaven life nutrition because you want to make more money either as a student or whatever like if you just want to make extra cash or whatever the case you still have to work hard at it you're gonna have to post every time um you're gonna have to post every time if it means standing there by chicken nikin trying to recruit people going after people you greet people some people say hi some people don't even want to hear you because they see your have a life bag or they see your have a life badge you're gonna have to wear the badge so that people notice that oh this one is a have a life distributor and whenever they decide that 
I actually want to lose weight, they know that they can come to you. You know, so it's it's a lot of things that have to go into it, you know. You're going to have to get, like, followers. If it means DMing people, if it means DMing people, like, every single pe person on your friend list or whatever, you're going to have to do it. It is not easy money. So, overall, um, with the whole experience, I feel like it has um helped me with all the other things I've been through afterwards, you know. The things that we used to get taught at the workshops that you must wear what you, whatever you're selling. People must see you rocking it. If they see it look good on me, then they, they, they get inspired to, to buy it. I still use that with my business now. I am my, my biggest promoter. I am um, my brand ambassador. Yes. <sighs> Having those meal supplements, I'm a shake for the first two, three months, whatever months was okay until a certain point like this is like no man i love food you know i, I cry right. i i want to enjoy food i started um downloading books on losing weight one thing that made it okay made me feel okay with quitting is that food is meant to be eaten and enjoyed a diet shouldn't feel like prison but the journey towards losing weight should make you feel good and not feel horrible whatever you're doing should actually be contributing to your energy levels um deciding that you're going on intermittent fasting or drinking more water should make you feel good in your body it should make you feel a bit lighter instead of feeling like a burden you know the moment you no longer enjoy your meals the moment you feel bad for eating real food it's it's not okay it, it's not fine you know and that's my personal opinion if you want to go that path feel free you know as i stopped uh being using Herbalife, i did not gain weight immediately simply because i still um watched what i used to eat i still um used to eat small smaller portions for some time i used to juice some of my meals like i used to uh, until last year um during another stressful period <laughs> and that's when i gained it all back i think i gained the weight all back slowly and it, we are back at square one lovies and <laughs> if you have any words last recommendation <laughs> Hit me up, please, I beg, as long as it involves eating healthily, I am in. I do not want to be in another, like, supplement situation. You know, I want to enjoy food, guys. Food makes me happy. <laughs> I did not say that on camera. <laughs> No, but food does make me happy. I, I enjoy eating. And and that is it for today, lovies. Please, I will be sharing more on my journey with my body, myself, including weight loss and everything. Uh, since I have experienced that, it has been something that has <laughs> been a thing for me ever since I was young. Yeah, but otherwise, I hope you love and enjoyed watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.